Hello and welcome back to the little rock academy and today I'd like to show you an artificial lava and this is from Broborg vitrified hill fort in Upland in central Sweden and uh, the arrangement at Broborg is that there is two ramparts and uh, they are piled up rocks uh, partly from a local outcrop of Precambrian gneiss and granite to it and um, partly also glacial erratics and um, the legend says that uh, the settlement on Broburg was under siege and eventually the uh, inhabitants were burning their own settlement in a desperate attempt to uh, avoid capture by the enemy. But, uh, well, as so often, I think there's a true core in these legends. And I think uh, what happened there is that, uh, indeed, the local residents there, they burned their ramparts by purpose in order to uh, increase the strength of the walls. And what we see here is uh, a piece of uh, lava, a piece of molten rock that's from in between some larger blocks and you can kind of see the lava textures and structures here with some nice bubbles. Let's see, we should be able to get in a little closer. So here you see the nice bubbles and uh, there's some kind of uh, drop shaped uh, melt textures. And uh, this was uh, likely achieved by using charcoal, therefore getting the temperatures above the melting point of the local gneisses and granitoids. And uh, here at the side, we actually see some remnants of uh, the rock that was used. Here is a bit of uh, a fragment of uh, one of the nice kind of uh, materials. There's a little bit of a banding texture still in there. And uh, this uh, material was heated up to probably something like 11, 1200 degrees and then it started to melt, to partially melt at least. And uh, if we look around here on the other side, it almost looks clinkery, a bit like AA lava and a bit like blocky lava and uh, this uh, then eventually caused the different blocks, the large blocks, to come together, to weld together and therefore the wall's strength was increased. And here we see a little bit of uh, um, the inside, it's a bit of a hollow kind of area there and uh, up there we also have some uh, uh, melting textures. There we have some beautiful kind of smooth surfaces and some bubbles that bursted through. So a lot of volatile um, volatiles escaped and you can just about see this up here as well. And uh, this uh, indicates that likely um, there was some uh, uh, technique involved, some purpose and um, some people speculate that there was charcoal involved and that uh, the ramparts might have been covered with um, uh, peat, for instance, uh, to keep the volatiles in. And this would have reduced the melting point quite dramatically. So I like to think of this as experimental, dark age experimental petrology. And um, it's a beautiful kind of uh, specimen. And uh, let me show you another specimen. Here is some of the larger block material and this is a, a nice and you can see that uh, there is some cracking, some large cracking that uh, affected the nice and this is thermal cracking that happens on heating and uh, here at the side we see a smaller piece of nice that's now attached to this larger piece and uh, let me try to kind of turn this around a little. Here you can see that uh, these two are kind of welded together now from the partial melt that was sweated out of these rocks. And let's see whether I can get yet closer. So here these two don't belong together originally and uh, it is the partial melt that's holding these pieces together. 
Now, the idea here is that uh, the heating will naturally remove some of the strength from the larger blocks, uh, partly as evidenced by the cracking here, but it will actually increase the strength of the rampart as an entire feature because uh, the individual blocks are now welded together, they're stuck together, and therefore they cannot be easily removed, and uh, this would actually increase the strength of the fortification. So here, we can see that uh, the uh, Dark Age petrological experimentation was rather successful, I would think, and uh, likely this is recorded in this local legend of uh, the inhabitants of Broberg burning their own fortification. So, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me bring this specimen around to the other side. So here you can see the melt a little bit better. And here at the side, you also see some uh, bubbles and some cracking. Here's some bubbles and here's some cracking, probably also with volatile escape. And here's some of the thermal cracks in the larger nice fragment. And uh, this is a good indication that very high temperatures were achieved, likely with a considerable volatile pressure in the system. And uh, this is uh, a very early form of uh, artificial melting of rocks in order to increase the value of, in this case, the fortification. So let's uh, zoom out again. I say thank you for your attention. I hope you find this uh, found this interesting. And uh, if you're interested, you can also have a little look at uh, some of the field footage that uh, is also uh, on YouTube on my channel. So uh, I'd like to say thank you for your attention and uh, all the very best. Bye bye.